Noxious weeds are getting ready to bloom, and the city is ready to begin the annual battle to keep them in check. Take a look. The scope of the no noxious weed problem has really expanded out over the last few years with the economic downturn. Uh, so we have several thousand acres scattered throughout the county that are, that are infested with weeds of all kinds. We are here in Northeast Bend off of 18th Street. We're in an in industrial area where we have lots and lots of knapweed taking over the area. This is a noxious weed, of course, that will continue to spread throughout into the residential areas across the canal. The noxious weed issue in Bend is actually quite severe. Similar to the lot we're on, we have lots all over Bend, Oregon that have a noxious weed issue that they've been infested with noxious weeds and they go to seed and then they start to invade on neighboring properties. The city of Bend has a noxious weed ordinance that's been around for quite some time that pertains to noxious weeds like we have here that are invasive species that are non-native to our area. So they essentially just take over the place. We don't have any predators that can take care of them, so we must get them contained and, and eradicated the best we can. Currently, the city of Bend is trying to inform the public of our noxious weed program and educate our citizens so that we can gain voluntary compliance. So where we are today is a undeveloped uh, neighborhood that was uh, partially eroded with utilities. All the soil was disturbed, um, and it's brought in all these weeds. So here we are on the east side of Bend. Uh, these weeds have grown up, created a, a big seed bank here, and uh, they've pretty well taken over this whole site. For example, in this particular lot, we're adjoining an irrigation canal, and what we see is we see these seeds actually get into the, the irrigation system, and then they're transported for hundreds of miles and onto farms and to agricultural lands. The two worst offenders in the category of weeds in Schutz County are spotted knapweed and Dalmatian toad flax. The Dalmatian toad flax that you see here is um, actually a rather pretty flower that has a very um, invasive root structure that's very difficult to get rid of. The knapweed actually has a pretty shallow root system. However, the root system on it actually sends out a poisonous enzyme that poisons the soil so it doesn't have to compete for resources with the native plants that might be surrounding it. This is spotted knapweed. It's in its dormant stage right now. Uh, it's just starting to green up at the very base, the little green leaves like this. Uh, this plant here, a fairly large size plant, probably produces two to three thousand seeds, uh, which then help reproduce this plant and spread it across the county. When we find a lot, such as this one here today, we will send a warning, which is called a notice of violation, letting the property owner know that they are in violation of their code. And ultimately, we want to gain that voluntary compliance. Currently, the potential fine for a violation such as noxious weeds is $810 a day until the lot is in compliance. But ultimately, the city of Bend wants to gain that voluntary compliance and eradicate the weeds before they become a bigger issue. I would absolutely encourage anybody to get involved, get educated, learn what these plants look like, and help make a better difference for Bend. I'd encourage the public to get involved by educating themselves on how to identify these weeds and get involved in community events like the Let's Pull Together event in June. Get out and uh, help us get these weeds under control.